Hi friends, welcome back to Team Education. Friends, in this video, we are solving problem on first order and first degree differential equation. In that, exact or non-exact differential equation. If it is a non-exact, we are going to make it as an exact by multiplying integrating factor. Okay. Given problem is solve x square plus y square x into dx plus xy dy is equal to 0. By the observation, we can say the given problem is in the form of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. So, dx equation is m. From the given problem, what is m we have? x square plus y square plus x. Now, n is dy quotient. So, from the given problem, we have n is equal to xy. Now, we have to verify is the given differential equation is exact or non-exact. Okay. If it is uh, exact or non-exact, how we can say means we have to find out dou m by dou y and dou n by dou x. Now, dou m by dou y I am finding. While differentiating m partially with respect to y, we have to treat all other variables as a constant. So, this is containing y term no. So, independent of y. This is also independent of y. So, these two derivatives will be 0. Now, y square derivative is 2y. Now, dou n by dou x. While differentiating with respect to x, treat other variables as a constant. So, y is a constant. x derivative is 1. y into 1 is 1. So, is both are equal? You know that if dou m by dou y not is equal to dou n by dou x, then you can say the given differential equation is a non-exact. If it is is equal, then you can say which is exact. So, from this what you can say? dou m by dou y not is equal to dou n by dou x. Therefore, given differential equation m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 is non-exact. So friends, how we can get the solution for the non-exact? It is not possible. So we have to reduce the non-exact differential equation into exact differential equation by multiplying suitable factor. That factor is called integrating factor. We have a different methods to find an integrating factor. First rule 1. Rule 1 what we have means inspection method inspection method. Friends, here you observe. Can we apply the inspection method means? Here what we can do? x squared dx you can do. x dx we can do. But here you have y square dx plus xy dy. You cannot write a derivative of one function. Here x squared dx you can do, x dx you can do. But y squared dx is there, xy dy is there. So you cannot do you cannot write a derivative of this bracket. So, inspection method is not possible in this case. Now, go for second rule. What is the rule 2 we have? That is homogeneous function. Here, m and n are both are homogeneous function of same degree. Friends, here you observe. m is containing uh, x square, y square, x term. So, sum of the three terms. First term degrees, k square. Second term, k square. Third term, k. So, here... You cannot take a k is a common. So, it is a non-homogeneous different, non-homogeneous function. Anyhow, degree 2, n is okay. But m is containing 3 terms. 3 terms should be have same degree. Here degree 2, degree 2, degree 1. So, m is a non-homogeneous. So, you cannot apply this method also. Homogeneous function also you cannot apply. Now, go for rule 3. Rule 3 means it should be in the form of y into fxy dx plus x into gxy dy is equal to 0. g of x comma y dx is equal to 0. Okay. Anyhow, now you observe friends, from the m, can I take a, can I take a x is a common? If you take an x common, here you won't get xy term. Even if you take an y is a common, you won't get xy term. So, you cannot apply rule 3 also. So, which method you have to do? Means, first you find out dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x. Tell me friends, what we have at dou m by dou y? 2y. Dou n by dou x? y. So, 2y minus y means you have only y. Okay. Now, divide with n is possible or divide with m is possible verify. Now, I am verifying with divide with m. Just I am verifying friends. Okay. Now, if I take in this term, what will happen? You see, actually, what is the dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x you have? Uh, y. What about the m? You see, what is the m you have? m is x square plus y square plus x. So, I am writing y divided by 
x square plus y square plus x. So friends, is it a function of y? No. So you cannot divide with m. Now I am dividing with n. Do m y do y minus do n by do x. If I did function is a y. What about the n? You see, n is here. You have a x y. N is here. You have a x y. Okay, is it or not? You see, x y only now. Now I am dividing uh, this one with n. N is here. X y. So if I divided with x y, y numerator and denominator getting cancelled, then you will have one by x. So it is a single valid function that is in terms of x from the integrating uh, for this integrating factor we have need the power of integral of f of x dx friends you see this is rule 4 this is rule 5 rule 5 is not applicable we are not getting single valid function in terms of y rule 4 is applicable here okay now uh, e to the power of integral 1 by x dx. We know that the denominator derivative, if it is in the numerator, then you will have log of denominator. So e to the power of log x. In this case, the integrating factor is e and log getting cancelled x. So now you multiply this integrating factor for the given differential equation m dx plus n dy is equal to 0, then you will get the new one. Means and the previously m dx plus n dy is what non exact this is non exact so if i multiplied a uh, integrating factor then what you are getting you see x cube plus y square x plus x square into dx plus uh, i am multiplying here x only now so x square y dy is equal to x into 0 is 0 friends this is m1 dx plus n1 dy is equal to 0 is an exact only exact differential equation if you want you can verify how you can verify with respect to y do it this is 0 this is 2xy this is 0 so 2xy now differentiate with respect to x 2xy so is it an exact or not yes it is an exact now if it is an exact then we have a formula which formula the general solution is integral of m1 dx plus integral of n1 dy which is equal to c here in this case y is a constant here free from x terms or no x terms are independent of x they will give in a different types anyhow now integral of here i am taking y is a constant anyhow first i am writing a m1 that is a x cube plus y square x plus x square into dx plus in the n1 you should not take the x term this is x square y so you cannot get this term so i am writing 0 only this is equal to c now you integrate this one with respect to x now anyhow uh, can I, I can write like this here a y square is a constant so x dx uh, x square dy which is equal to c now x cube integration is x to the power of 4 by 4 plus y square into x integration x square by 2 plus x square integration x cube by 3 which is equal to c so this is the general solution for the given problem is it clear friends right similarly one more problem also we are going to solve first i am giving a problem task for you so please try to solve this problem if you are not getting okay please watch my next video now the given problem is solve y plus y cube by 3 plus x square by 2 into dx plus 1 by 4 times of x plus x y square dy is equal to 0 is a uh, we have to get the solution for this the solution is we have 1 by 4 times of x to the power of 4 y plus 1 by 12 times of x to the power of 4 plus y cube plus 1 by 12 times of x to the power of 6 is equal to c by 6 or else you can say this is a c1 it's not an issue where c is an arbitrary constant and c1 is also arbitrary constant if you simplify it might be you will have 3x to the power of 4y plus x to the power of 4y cube plus x power 6 is equal to c where c is an arbitrary constant friends any one of them you may get 3x power 4y plus x power 4y cube plus x power 6 is equal to c so try to solve this problem if you are getting the same answer please comment uh, please ping in the comment box i'll verify okay i'll give the replay also if you are not getting don't worry uh, you can watch uh, this problem in my next videos thank you for watching this video please don't forget to like and share